Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Apple Intelligence on any iPhone. Officially, it's only supported on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 16 series, but in this video I'll be showing you how to use it on any iPhone. This will unlock the Apple Intelligence and the new Siri version on uh, the iPhone 13, 14, and even the base model 15s. And uh, with this tool you can also enable other features. For the first part of the video, I'll be showing you how to enable the always on display for even the non-pro iPhones. Now for the first step, we need to get this file from our iPhone so that we can modify it. So first go to the GitHub page on your mobile device and at the bottom you'll find a shortcut link to the shortcut file. Once you click that, you'll be prompted to open the shortcuts app and from here you can add the shortcut and then run it. Once you run the shortcut, it'll ask you to save a file and after you save this file, uh, you should be able to just send it to your Mac or Windows computer. And from there, you can access it through the application. You can either save it to iCloud or anywhere where it's convenient. Now for the second part, we can set up Nugget, the desktop version of the application. Here, go to the GitHub page and then download the version for your computer. I'm going to be doing this on a MacBook and uh, this process also fully works on Windows. For Windows, you might have to install iTunes or the iCloud uh, application for Windows since it requires some USB uh, tools that you need to communicate with your iPhone. From here, we can open the application. If you get this error, you can go to the security and privacy tab and then click open anyway. Once it's open, go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer. And then once you've connected it, you might be asked on your phone to click trust. Uh, once you click trust this computer, uh, it should be able to connect. And then in the application, your iPhone will show up. If it doesn't show up immediately, as soon as you plug it in, you might have to click the reload button next to the iPhone dropdown. Once your iPhone is connected, we can go ahead and check all the different settings that we can change. So here we can see all the hidden settings that are only available for newer iPhones, such as the action button, the camera control features, the always on display. And uh, here we first need to choose the uh, mobile file that we got from the shortcuts. Once you've chosen that file, we can go ahead and make changes to it. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing is the always on display. Near the bottom you can see enable always on display and the uh, always on display vibrancy. This just means that you can enable the wallpaper or the clock color changing. Here you can also enable the dynamic island and other features if you would like to. This application also works on iPads since you can see the stage manager and other iPad specific features. If you get this error when first clicking uh, apply, Go ahead and disable Find My in your settings. Once you've disabled Find My, you should be able to hit Apply and then you should get this prompt. Your device will automatically restart and then the newer features will be shown in the settings app. Now on my phone, we can see here, if you go to Display and Brightness and scroll to the bottom, I'm using an iPhone 13 and the Always On Display option is now shown. Now I can't show this in the screen recording, but it has been enabled now. For the third part, we're going to be enabling Apple Intelligence. So here uh, in the eligibility tab of the application, we can enable Apple Intelligence. And then at the bottom, we will have to choose a device model to spoof. So I recommend reading this carefully uh, as it does say that the face ID and the cameras may not be detected properly. So as while the Apple Intelligence package is being downloaded under our spoof device, I'm going to be choosing an iPhone 15 Pro. The Face ID module will not work properly because it's not the correct one for our model device. Uh, as long as the Apple Intelligence is uh, downloaded fully, we can spoof it back to our original iPhone and the Face ID module will work again. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and spoof it to the iPhone 15 Pro and then go ahead and hit Apply Changes. And then the device will restart again and back here on the phone, you can see the Face ID issue is shown. We can just ignore this for now. Now, first things first, go to the settings app and then uh, go to the Apple Intelligence in Siri. 
and then here you can see it'll say Apple Intelligence is preparing. So this means that it's downloading the uh, new files needed for Apple Intelligence from the Apple servers. And as you can see, we still have the old version of Siri. So go ahead and let that finish. And um, this took about 10 minutes for me. And this is based on your Wi-Fi speed. Once it's finished downloading, you'll get a prompt to say turn on Apple Intelligence and then you can go ahead and continue on all these. Not all these features work since it's obviously unsupported by Apple, but uh, some of the features that do work are the new Siri uh, UI, the type to Siri, uh, you can also request it to play specific songs, and some other features that we don't have on the original one. Once you've enabled it, uh, you might still get the old Siri UI. Uh, to prevent this, go ahead and just restart your device, and as you can see, now it's working flawlessly. You can also click Type to Siri by double tapping the uh, gesture bar. In my opinion, this is much faster than the original Siri at giving me information, since it does run fully on device and doesn't have to send all the requests to the cloud. And uh, if you have any other questions or would like me to try anything else, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And uh, the last step, make sure you turn off the spoofing and then hit apply changes and your device will restart again and your face ID should work. Thanks for watching.